Hello, my name is Ahmed Osama and uh, I'm here to talk about our DSD project. The main idea of the project was to uh, implement a smart chessboard that would um, uh, feel, how the, feel how the pieces would move and uh, it could pass it on to the logic of the game so it could be implemented on a physical board instead of uh, the computer. Um, about the top level module, uh, it is used to combine all the um, down level modules, uh, it, it takes um, the input from the sensors, the signals are uh, passed to the uh, Altera by multiplexers because uh, uh, there are 64 sensors and uh, there aren't enough uh, pins in the Altera so we had uh, to use multiplexers to uh, give the input as a uh, serial. So uh, here's a tester module uh, used to check for if the sensors work. Here, uh, these three switches uh, use this, uh, are the selects for the multiplexers, um, so uh, it takes uh, D0 as input. This column represents the D0 uh, selection from the multiplexers. If I move this piece, the LEDs change. Uh, there are four missing sensors here, so they aren't working. If I uh, go to D3, it will also feel the piece moving. If I go to D4, it will also feel the piece. So that's basically the idea. And that's, uh, these are the testers. Uh, these basic ideas could be used uh, to uh, pass the inputs and the, output, uh, the inputs to the Altera, and uh, the previous state could be uh, the it could be used a six, two 64-bit registers, uh, the previous state register and the current state register to uh, to know how what piece moved and uh, implement the logic on the on the piece on the, the whole board. So uh, whole, the whole logic could be manipulated. Hi, my name is Randa Hossein, and I will be talking about implementing the hardware board. Here we have four boards. We have the FPGA board and two red boards and um, a wooden chessboard. The wooden chessboard is connected to a 64 magnetic sensor. Each, uh, each, uh, each magnetic sensor is connected to three wires, a ground, and a voltage, and a circuit. And these wires are connected to the two breadboards. And my colleague Ziad is going to talk about the implementation of the wires and through these wires and through these um, and, do, and through these uh, chess, um, chess wooden board, we uh, manipulated all the, uh, the 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 um, the chess game, and um, we manipulated the um, the the previous and the current states and the, the everything through these through these uh, wires. <laughs> so now I'll be talking about the connection between the four boards Randa talked about and how the uh, sensors are related to the magnets and how the, the wires out of the sensors are related to the four breadboards, to the four boards. Each sensor on the chess wooden board has three input wires. The three wires are the earth one, the, the voltage one, and the signal one. The earth and the voltage one are connected to the first breadboard here, and the second, uh, and the signal one is connected to the, to the second breadboard. This breadboard contains eight multiplexers, eight by one, and the 64 wires coming out from the 64 sensors are connected to the eight multiplexers here. The one very output is connected from here, the breadboard, to the eight pins assigned here in the Altera FPGA board. As uh, for the software part of the project, we implemented three sub-modules that are called in the uh, top level module. The first module is called count. The count module simply does the following. It outputs a three bit output, which uh, is incremented at every clock cycle. Meaning that at the first clock cycle, it outputs zero, second clock cycle, it outputs one, and so on, until it reaches seven. It outputs from zero to seven on seven consecutive clock cycles. This module is used as the select for the multiplexers so that the multiplexer can output one signal at a time. The multiplexer receives 
eight uh, signal inputs. They are signals coming from the sensors. Each sensor uh, is output at a time in order, meaning that the signal from sensor one is output at the first clock cycle, then the signal from sensor two, then the signal from sensor three, and so on. So the multiplexer can output the eight signals coming in order and in only eight clock cycles. And the other module is to control the states of the, the chessboard, meaning that the module receives as an input two 64-bit registers. The first 64-bit register uh, represents the current state. The second one represents the previous state. And it outputs to uh, also two 64-bit registers representing uh, the piece that was changed, where from, and where to. The module works uh, as follows. Um, it, uh, it takes the input and loops over the every bit inside the input. It checks for the same index in the two registers which piece has changed value, meaning that if a piece had value of zero in the previous state, and now in the current state it has the value of one. This means that this place had no piece in the previous state, and now it has a piece. This, this means also that a piece has been moved to this location. So we take this location as the two location. As for the from location, we detect the location where uh, it was in equals to one in the previous state, and it's equal to zero in the current state, which means that it was, uh, it had a piece and then it was removed. So we calculate or we implement the from location and the to location. The output of uh, this uh, module is sent to the uh, to another module that displays on the seven segment display the uh, index of these two locations. Hi, my name is Karim Tarek. My part in the project involved uh, displaying uh, the movement of the chess pieces. Um, it is done as follows. Uh, my sub-method in the Verilog receives uh, two 64-bit registers. Uh, the register cells of each uh, are filled with, with zeros except one. Uh, we have two registers, previous and next. Uh, each with only one cell containing one uh, and uh, uh, I pass uh, that certain location uh, to the seven segment display to be displayed.